In this video, we'll review how to multiply polynomials. There's several ways to do this. We can either use repeated distribution, or we can use generic rectangles. Let's start by looking at repeated distribution. For the first problem, I'm going to need to multiply the 2x times the quantity 4x plus 3. I'll then need to multiply negative 5 times the quantity 4x plus 3. So let's begin. If we start by writing 2x times the quantity 4x plus 3, and then negative 5 times the quantity 4x plus 3, we'll then distribute. 2x times 4x is 8x squared, and 2x times 3 is positive 6x. Then negative 5 times 4x is negative 20x, and on this one you need to be careful. Again, it's negative 5 times 3. That's minus 15. We'll then look to combine like terms. In this case, the 6x and the negative 20x are like terms. They have the same variable raised to the same exponent. Combining, we get 8x squared minus 14x minus 15. We could also do the problem with the generic rectangles. To do the generic rectangles, we'll start by drawing a large rectangle. We'll then split it into four boxes. The reason we're doing the four boxes is we have a binomial times a binomial. That is something with two units by two units. To do this, we'll take the 2x minus 5 and put it on the side. And then the 4x plus 3 up top. We'll then distribute, which can be thought of as finding the area of each particular box. The top left one is 2x by 4x. That's 8x squared. The next one up top is the 2x times 3. That's 6x. On the bottom, the negative 5 times the 4x is negative 20x. And lastly, the negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. If you look at the problem above, you'll notice the same four terms. The 8x squared, the positive 6x, the negative 20x, and the negative 15 are the same four things we found when we did the repeated distribution. These are my like terms. I'll add those together. Starting with the first piece, we have 8x squared. The 6x minus 20x is again negative 14x. And then lastly, minus 15. Notice the answers match. The second problem is the quantity 3x minus 7 squared. Think about it for a moment. What would that look like? How can I rewrite it? Anything squared means the number is multiplied by itself. So in this case, we have the quantity 3x minus 7 times another quantity, 3x minus 7. We can now do this with repeated distribution. 3x times the quantity, 3x minus 7, minus 7 times the quantity, again, 3x minus 7. If we multiply it out, the 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 3x times negative 7 is negative 21x. Then negative 7 times 3x is also negative 21x. And then negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. Combining the like terms, we get 9x squared minus 42x plus 49. I could also do this with the rectangles. I'm going to do it a little quicker this time. Start by drawing the box, split it into the four pieces. Up on the side we have 3x minus 7, and across the top 3x minus 7. The 3x times the 3x is 9x squared. Negative 7 times 3x, or 3x times negative 7, is negative 21x. On the bottom, negative 7 times 3x is negative 21x, and negative 7 times negative 7 is 49. The diagonal ones here are again my like terms. So combining, I have the 9x squared minus 42x plus 49. Now let's take a look at a little bit harder example. The next one has a binomial times a trinomial. That is something with two terms multiplied by something with three terms. We can still do this with repeated distribution or with the rectangles. 
First, we'll start by taking the 4x and multiplying it by the quantity 3x squared minus x plus 2. We'll then take the minus 5 and again multiply by the quantity 3x squared minus x plus 2. Distributing. We see that we get 12. Now in this case, the x times x squared becomes x cubed, x to the third power. The 4x times negative x is negative 4x squared, and 4x times 2 is 8x. Distributing the second piece. The negative 5 times 3x squared is negative 15x squared. Negative 5 times negative x is positive 5x. And negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. Spend a moment and look at the like terms. Figure out which can be combined. The negative 4x squared can be combined with the negative 15x squared. The other ones that are like terms are my x's. The 8x can be, can, be, can be combined with the 5x. If we combine this, we get 12x cubed minus 19x squared plus 13x minus 10. This problem can still be done with the rectangles, but it's going to look a little different. This time we have something that is two terms by three terms. We're going to need a longer rectangle. The 4x minus 5 can be written on the side. The 3x squared minus x plus 2 will go on top. When we multiply out the rectangles, 4x times 3x squared will be the 12x cubed. The 4x times negative x is negative 4x squared. The 4x times 2 is 8x. The negative 5 times 3x squared is negative 15x squared. The negative 5 times negative x is positive 5x. And the negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. This time the like terms are here and here. When we write the answer, we'll see that we get the same answer as before. It is the 12x cubed minus 19x squared plus the 13x and then lastly minus 10. I hope this helps you. Thank you for watching.